we can lift it up for the first time it will be on the wheel so we can move it what's going on guys it's Ali welcome to the part 8 of my 3d printed 8 scale Toyota Supra in today's video we will be working on the transmission I already made the bracket and it has a servo mount as well in the previous video we worked on the steering link and it's working very good and also the clutch but I did some adjustment on it and I already talked about it I have the final piece here which the bolt will be underneath and only the stud will comes out and if you have any linkage breakage we can replace it without taking the bolt out from above and also the clutch I put another spring here and a washer it's also a 3d printed when you disengage the clutch it will push the clutch and disengage it from the engine and I think it works much better now and we have another adjustment here with the door uh, it was like this before and right now it's like this the door hinge we're gonna hold that lip and not gonna turn I already put the driver side door on and right now it's not twisting up or down and the hinge perfectly aligned over there and I had another problem here the door was going in because there's nothing to hold it and with the new chassis it has that magnet mounting point and it has on the door and the chassis so it, there will be a magnet and the door will magnetize over here and not gonna go in here is the new chassis design and that's the magnet point I talked about this is for the back piece of the chassis there will be magnet here and it will hold the door for the door magnet I'm using these cubes these are 3 by 3 millimeter cube so for each door it will be like this you will need a 6 magnets like this so 6 magnets like this will be like this on the chassis and I can put a glue over there or a hot glue and then 6 magnets like this on the door it will sit over there like this and these two pieces of chassis didn't come out like this I had to print them like this and there will be so many supports and I had to clean them but if you want to skip all that headache and all that problem head over to PCB Way. PCB Way offering CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication and injection molding. You just have to put the file and choose the material and it will tell you the price and shipping days. PCB Way's link will be in the video description box below for more information. Thanks to PCB Way for sponsoring this video. Alright, let's get back to the transmission. I already 3D printed this part and it's holding on these bolts underneath and it will hold the servo as well so it will change all the three gears and I already made that uh, it will hold the two bearings here it will be adjustable for the pinion and I had to make this shaft as well I also made this file so you will know uh, exact measurement if you can't make something like this you can 3D print it from PCB way we can assemble that soon and I will need a drive line like this it will connect the transmission with the clutch over here and we have some new adjustment here this is for the arms I had to reprint the arms here it's straight and I had to give it a bend because with these links you can see it's at the last adjustment and I want it to be at the middle so it doesn't come out like this one came out because it was on the last thread and I gave it this bend it will be one centimeter less about nine millimeters so that adjustment will be at the middle so we don't have that problem not gonna come out that's the new design and for the steering I printed this part again right now the bolts will be underneath so one side of the bolt will be three centimeters and the other one will be four centimeters because for one side there will be a clutch arm so for this side it will be four centimeters and for this side it will be only three because it's only holding the steering arm we're gonna assemble all that together but what I have to do this is the old chassis because you can see there is no holes over here like this one I have to put that together and then put all these arms on this and then we're gonna put the transmission over there and one last update for the differential I made this bracket it will go on the differential and it will hold it from above 
This will hold the differential and not gonna let it twist. That was the last update on that differential work. Now I'm gonna assemble that chassis together. All we need is four and four bolts for the bottom side and two screws for the top sides. All right, the chassis is done. Now I'm gonna put these brass nuts in these holes and then put all these things on this chassis. So the easiest way I'm putting these brass nuts, I made this handle, basically it's a M3 bolt with this tube and then I'm screwing on. I'm gonna heat it with lighter and then pressing on these holes like this. This is if you don't have soldering iron, but I found out this is much easier and much faster. Alright, I had to put 38 brass nuts on the chassis, now I'm gonna put all these things on this new chassis. Alright, the steering assembly is all done and it's on the new chassis. I almost forgot to tell you about this. I have this 3D printed washers. When you put two bearings in, like in your arm like this for the clutch or for the steering arm, you have to put a washer between them so the a bolt not gonna crush them and miss the bearing. So it has to be like this. And no matter how much you tighten this knot, the bearing will be safe and it will move freely. So I already put two here and I will put one between these bearings as well. Okay, next we have to put the arms on this is the front upper arm I had to cut these corners because in the last video I mentioned that it was rubbing there when the car was low like you can hear it the spring heating here I had to cut this and make it round like this so I will put this one on and then we have a four millimeter shaft it will be inserted from here For the upper arm it will be inserted from the back and for the lower arm it will be inserted from the front and then we have a 3d printed cap we're gonna put it on so the shaft doesn't come out all right the transmission is done we're gonna bolt it down with four m3 bolts and then i will connect this with the clutch and also the servo is connected we will trim it down with the receiver and then we'll see how it will change all three gears
Okay, I just put the engine on as well. Right now it looks good, but I don't know how it works. So we will plug it in and trim that servo so it can change all the three gears without pushing too much or pulling too much. Otherwise, it will bend this rod. So we're gonna trim this one as well. Right, I just put the servos on and also the front tower strut brace so it will hold the two servos together and I plug everything right now and we're gonna try it even uh, with the back as well everything is good so we have the steering and for the servos I was thinking to use Arduino but some of you wanted to just do it with the controller so we're gonna stick to the controller and not gonna use Arduino and I will connect two servers together so this one will be connected with this one and this one will be connected with this one and then I will mix two channels together and reverse one channel so it will work together but right now one on each channel like this but it will be on one channel with mix it two channels so yeah and here is the clutch and I put this one on the gears three gears yeah and we can lift it up for the first time it will be on the wheel so we can move it yeah Right, so far the project going very well. Today we finished transmission and mounting all these points. So for the next video, I will be working on the transmission connecting with differential. So we will figure out how we connect this one. But right now the car on its wheel and right now we can move it freely. But this is for the next video. I will be connecting all these and hopefully it can run and move on its own so yeah if you are new here i will put the playlist in the video description box below how i started this project thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye for now